Hey, so, so you guys know I'm in DC now and I'm literally coming at you this week on the street. I'm sitting in traffic on 395 waiting to get home and somebody just cut me off. They cut me off and you know what popped in my mind? Because initially, immediately almost, I wanted to just kind of go into a frenzy. I'm already frustrated. I just got off work. I'm tired. I'm ready to get home, get some dinner. But you know what? Immediately what popped into my mind was Matthew 16, 24, when Jesus laid out the three-step or three-stage discipleship process. When he says, if anyone would follow me, he was talking to his disciples when he said this, if anybody would follow me, then they would deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. Alright, so why did this verse pop into my mind? Because initially, like I said, I wanted to kind of go into a frenzy and, you know, be upset, be, uh, be mad about that. But Christ said, if I want to be his disciple, then... I got to deny myself. I got to deny those fleshly impulses. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just going to wave. And uh, obviously they're in a little bit of a hurry. Obviously they're trying to get somewhere. I'm not really in a hurry. I'm just ready to be somewhere. But uh, so I just chose to send up a wave and, and a salute to them. And uh, it's okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to hold anything against you. So I think that we can apply that principle, deny ourselves both daily and obviously in the moment when our flesh is is ready and prepared to react in sin whether it's you know anger or impulsivity or you know maybe maybe you're struggling with some kind of ongoing sinful nature um, that you just can't get a handle on um, or maybe even like in a relationship um, you're you're struggling to deny yourself and put somebody first in that relationship and I think that what Christ is saying is that if we want to be his disciple, if we are his disciples, then the first step in the discipleship process is to learn how to deny yourself. All right, check it out. Step two in the discipleship process is, you guessed it, take up your cross. So what does that look like to take up your cross? What does it look like? I know that we've heard that phrase before, take up your cross daily. I don't think it's indicative of some type of ongoing burden that we have to carry around with us. I think that it's almost a joy for us to take up that cross. It's almost a joy, a joy for us to identify with cross in that. But it also means that we have an obligation, again, going back to step one, in the discipleship process we have an ongoing obligation to nail our sin to that cross we have an ongoing obligation to nail our impulsivity and our desires to well up with worldly things to that cross whether that be a, a pleasure or a sinful attitude to, towards someone or you know just being short or grumpy i think that uh, taking up that cross is a reminder carrying around that cross with us is a reminder that we are guided by a higher power. That we are pressed to love other people with the gospel all the time. And lastly, Jesus said, follow me. So this is the, the third stage in the three-stage discipleship process. Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. So what does it look like to follow Jesus? Not just on Sundays, not just a Bible study, not just uh, not just when we're doing those religious activities, but in a daily routine, on a daily basis, moment by moment, even when we don't necessarily feel like being Christ followers, what does it look like to follow Jesus? Well, first of all, we have to know Jesus. We have to know who he is. We have to know his word. We have to plan his word in our hearts. We have to uh, meditate on those words, meditate and pray and fast and uh, be prepared. You know, it's like Paul says, be prepared to, to give a defense for the gospel at a moment's notice. So to follow Jesus is more than just going to church. It's more than just being part of a community of other believers. It's learning 
It's like uh, it's like when you start a new job and you read the, the policy manual for the job that you've taken and you learn, you know, what days you get off and how much vacation you have and 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 what the proper dress code is and attire is for the job that you've chosen to do. Well, we can't expect to follow Christ. We can't expect to know how to do those things if we're not reading his word, studying it, and applying it to our lives, looking for ways to, to pull out that application and apply it to our lives. So I pray that this three stage discipleship process is an encouragement to you. I pray that uh, you would embrace Matthew 16, 24 and that you would dig into your word and your personal study and your meditation time and that you would look at what it truly means in your life, not in my life, not in somebody else's life, but in your life, what it truly means to deny yourself. Where, where can you take those opportunities to put down sin and lift up Jesus. What does it look like to take up your cross, not just daily, but in every moment? What does it look like to bear that cross? And it isn't indicative, like I said, it isn't indicative of some burden, some sickness, some illness, some some treacherous thing that you carry around with you. That's not your cross to bear. Your cross to bear is the cross that Jesus Christ gave us. The cross that we bear is a cross that we get to nail our sin to. And then finally, follow Jesus. What does that mean? What does that really, really mean in its core? It's not about going to church every Sunday. That's, those are good things. That's an amazing thing, going to Bible study. And again, great thing, amazing thing. And you should be doing these things. But is that what defines you following Jesus? You following Jesus is so much deeper than just some type of activity or some type of ritualistic um, attendance. Following Jesus is a choice to deny yourself and take up your cross. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me during my drive home for this week's Word on the Street. I pray that you really will take a deeper look into Matthew 16, 24 during your own personal study and meditation time, and you'll begin to ask yourself the questions about what it looks like to deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow Jesus on a moment-by-moment basis through this life so that you can encourage others and that you could uh, evangelize and continue to bring others to uh, to the saving knowledge of the gospel. I love you guys, praying for you, and uh, I hope you found some encouragement here. Thanks so much, and we'll check you next week.